Okay, here's a version of Wall Ball, and thanks to Michelle from Fargo, North Dakota for this game idea. This is for grades 5 to 8, and you'll need a tennis ball and some sort of a wall to throw against. So this can be a gym game, or it could be a recess game. And so here we have our wall, and you can have players from anywhere from 3 to 10 players that will be playing, and you'll have a ball. Now basically in this game is wall ball, most people know the idea that players will be throwing it off the wall and in, a, in either a pattern, so they can have an order, or they can just have it more competitive where first first to get the ball can throw, so they're just throwing it off and, and retrieving it. Now there are some rules where players, basically the idea is to try to get the other players out. So we're going to look at the rules of how to get players out first scenario we have is that Johnny will throw the ball but it'll hit the ground or another player before hitting the wall so when Johnny throws it it hits the ground in this case and then hits the wall so that's not allowed it has normally it has to be a direct throw to the wall so it's hit the ground and now Johnny will be out if somebody else throws the ball against the wall before he can run and touch the wall so here we see Johnny had made that mistake and somebody else got to the ball threw it against the wall so then Johnny is out so that's the first scenario we're going to look at another scenario. So Jackie here will throw the ball off the wall and it's caught straight off the wall so there's no bounce. So Jackie has thrown it and it's directly off the wall and someone caught it, kind of like a pop fly in baseball. And so now Jackie will be out if the player who just caught it can throw the ball at the wall before she gets there. So Jackie is out in this case as well. And then we're down to four players. So here's another scenario. Jimmy will try to catch the ball off the wall, but he fumbles it and drops it. So he's handled it, but it's fallen to the ground. Now Jimmy then will have to get to the wall before somebody else can throw that ball against the wall. So here Jimmy was safe because he just had a little distance. He ran and touched the wall, so he's safe. And the game continues on like that. So here are some other key rules for this game. Players must throw the ball from where it's caught or picked up, so they can't walk around with the ball. Another rule is that ball is thrown only at the wall, not at other players. And here's another key rule you can use, that instead of being out, uh, players can receive a letter to spell out, spell out wall ball. So every time an error is made, and a player, instead of being out, they'll, for example, spell W and then get an A and LL, kind of like horse in basketball, if you know that game. And that's it for this idea.